Greetings there, defenders of Tophalas, or Ottoman here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle. Episode 47, Explosive Black Hole. So your sharp is now 2190. You're actually better protected than I think Shield is, or Madzi, or anyone. Yeah, Crimson now has like the strongest armor of anyone in our colony, by like a considerable factor. Can't hurt me now. No, well, you probably can, given my luck. I wonder if I can autocast Mentor Magic and have it not like blow up on my face. I'll try. Oh, a uh, Turnip Canal Mentor too. Got high enough level for it. So what level are you? I am... I don't think there's an easy way to figure that out. Is there? I would have to like start doing math. <laughs> math. I'm not doing math. Oh, is it a scroll up? Oh, 15. Yeah, scroll up. So Tal is 48. Thomas is 33. J Fry is 29. Turnip is 20. Hambic is 15. Mazzy is 23. And Rogi is 15. Oh, Rogi's higher level than I thought Rogi would be. Grow is 18. Sticky is 17. So Sigius is like catching up due to all the mentorship. But it's going to be some time until, you know, truly all, all the way caught up. Being that he's the baby of the colony. Uh, all right, Legolas, like have fun raiding. Uh, maybe you steal a stack of jade, I guess, or destroy a bed. But you don't seem to understand that there's no one to attack there. Interesting choice to immediately fall asleep on the ground. Stochastic Turtle, thank you for the, uh, the bits. And to respond to your bit, uh, saying that you were late, a wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to be. Come on. You knew this. All right, so we stole a stack of jade. Oh, well. What a coward. Arrives when we're not there. He goes, ha ha ha! Successful raid! Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. You're just a thief. You're not a raider. Well, we now have Jade, and uh, magic just got returned to normal, which is really nice. So, um... Yeah. Let's go continue to enter magic, now that it won't hurt me to do so. And that is maxed out corpse consumption. Lovely. And then I'm also going to want to make some gems of holding. As I think that's going to be the most important one for our necromancer. So major gem of holding. And I'll start with one. But I'll probably work my way up to make it multiples. 
Luckily, it's not like a mana requiring thing, so it's a little bit easier for me to just like grind these out quick. Nice. Hambix, uh Shadow Bolt is max level. That thing, those Shadow Bolts have really been helpful to like punch through enemies that are annoying. And I'm going to put gems. Oops. Oh, I hit clear all. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Oh, okay. Uh, misclick. What a terrible misclick. So skill books are allowed there. Orbs are allowed there. And gems. Unfinished and finished. Too heavy. Uh, okay, hold on. Tal. We'll do the enchanting for you then. Oh. Uh, Tal was unable to improve the enchantments. Okay, so I can't do that item. Fine. Uh, can I do... I could do the surcoat, almost certainly. Oh, that is a crappy surcoat. So how about I don't do that, sir, code? Let's try something else. Uh, your boots. There we go. Extra mana on the boots. Tell, uh, can you make a better surcoat for him? Or rather, Stickiest, can you find a better surcoat to wear? I don't think you need a terrible one. Yeah, there's a good one up there. Just go for it. Are you wearing it now? Yes. All right, let's dye it the right color. And uh, yeah, we'll continue enchanted stuff just so he has like the most ridiculous mana pool possible. Um, oh, that's cool. Right. I remember reading this in the patch notes. Uh, Soul Reaper stuff can't be dyed colors. And, uh, I can't do anything here now. I'm stuck in a limbo. So I'm gonna have to force quit. Rip. Hey, maybe that, uh, that stockpile that I nuked all the settings for is gonna come back. And what's up with his face? He's a gun to bad orc. What do you mean, what's up with his face? That's just what gun about orcs look like. Rude. Hey, bud. And unless you mean my face. And then, I don't know, I don't know. It's just the way it is. I'm not to blame. Blame genetics. So, uh, not changing the color of Stickiest's clothing, apparently. What's weird is that, like, it worked initially, and then it was like, ha ha ha, but not anymore. <laughs> Okay, so we're back to when they just returned home. That's not too bad. Legolas is going to steal some jade. And the donkeys will get emptied out.
Kyle, what are you working on? Oh, uh, yeah. So you're not even the best warden anymore? So I'm going to lower that requirement. Because we gave a, a trainer to Rogi. And we can even try a conversion ritual here. Although Asgardians, or whatever his name, Osgard's expectations are really pretty high. Meaning that conversion rituals are maybe not going to be all that effective. It's not to say I won't try. So Stickiest, how about you and... Uh, so you can't pick this up because it's too heavy. Because you're already over your mass. Which is really funny to me. I The pants weigh a lot. Uh, yeah, so someone else is going to have to do the enchanting for you. You dainty little necromancer, you. It's, it's quite funny to me. So first piece will be the surcoat. Hambit can do it. Nope. Oh, I was doing that wrong. Equip the gem. Chant the item. And force wear that. And let's do one, two, three, four more. We'll aim for for five total gems of holding bonuses. Now with everyone, like, I guess I'm just going to turn on combat training for everyone now. All the sort of tutelage. Because, you know, whatever at this point. It was OP, but at this point I'm okay being OP. As we're pretty late in the series. So you're going to hear that uh, sound effect of them mentoring uh, pretty constantly at this point. Which is annoying in its own way. <laughs> Exotic goods. Alright, Rogi. Actually, trade price improvement, I'm not even sure Rogi's even better. So trade price improvement is 26.4. Oh yeah, alright, it is better. So Rogi, go on down there, talk to this Dark Lord. Uh, the hell noise is that? I, d I don't know what that was. <laughs> Late night guy, thank you for the sub. Uh, so we have all these tomes to sell. Oh, I think it's a Muma kill, like, walking around, maybe? How much do they hold? What are, what are their carry capacity? 450? Uh, you know what? Mm. Buy donkeys. Oh, uh, before we actually make that trade, make sure the donkeys are, don't have jade on them because they might, the game might just be like, oh, okay. You want to trade the donkeys? Well, the donkeys happen to have a bunch of jade loaded on them. So, haha, it's our jade now. I'm going to buy as much mana size as I can because, like, might as well. Actually, I'll prioritize the gold first because a lot of things require gold. Uh, we don't really need Hemomancy or Ice because those are known books. So I'll get rid of them. And... Buy a heart. So we can make another... Uh, so who do we heal? We'll be up to you in a second. I do want to uh, get as much silver as I, I can because we do have some crafting that requires silver. But there we go. Lovely. And now we have this Muma kill. I'm going to raffle it off. Might as well. It, it, uh, it kind of makes a lot of noise. And I think it's going to get really annoying really quickly. Demonology is also known. True. True. Um, yeah, let me go back and 
because we already have two demonologists, which is succubus or um, warlock. Oh, they don't have any more silver, though, so there's no point in selling it. I think I'm going to need to um, enable a mod real quick. Uh, a mod that Cathanon made called Individual Sound Volume. Because I do not want to have to listen to that MoMA kill making stupid noises continually. I'm going to lose my mind. Sounds like I'm under siege by like flak guns or something. Definitely not a lot of thought given to that. It'd be one thing if it was like an enemy only um, animal that could only be hostile or whatever. Because the um, the medieval mod has enemies like that. Dares and Linworms and the like. But, uh, but no, this is the animal that you could potentially have as a farm animal and it would just like uh, constantly make noise. It's like, no thanks. So the way this, this mod works, if you're wondering, um, sound, oh, where is it? Individual sound volume. Oh, sort by last played. Here, let's let it make noise. And then try to f figure out which sound that is and turn it off. Message threat big. What? What noise is that? Oh, this is worse. Dank. Explosion boulder? No. Is it... One of the TM sounds? I don't know, man. Uh, it would be like a ROM sound, right? Somehow or another, it's not coming up with like recently played. Maybe because it's on like a loop. Uh, all right. I What mod introduces this? I'm going to have to do some... Oh, was there one that called stomp? Because if not, I can look it up in the code. It's stomp. So either I can turn it off or I can set it to like, let's see, 5%. I don't hear it now. Okay, uh, yeah, 5% is fine. It's playing, but uh, I, I won't ever notice it. Not without elf ears, and I have human ears, so they're not sensitive enough to it. Can someone rope this thing to the pen, though? Your name is Moomy, by the way. Guero has given up on the community. Hmm. No? So, yeah. Enjoy the prison, I guess? Oh, goblins. I do have to make sure not to smelt this weapon, though. It's not allowed to be smelted. Okay, good. And I'm probably going to put this weapon here. Blazing power will go on this, like, magic shelf rather than in the weapon shelf. So this is on important, and this will be on critical. And someone will haul it at some point. Mumakill, your name is Simply Fig. Got it. Mm. 
New Lovers, Crimson and Burgum. All right. Hey, Tal, you're going to give up your bed. This is uh this is going to be a weird bedroom. But Where was Crimson sleeping? Oh, Crimson was sleeping in here. So this is Tal's bed. This is Crimson's bed. And Bergen's bed. Uh, Simply Fig, could you... Um, could you stay in here? I, I know you don't have a source of food. I actually don't even know what you eat. I probably should have checked what the hell you eat before I bought you. It's going to be like, well, I only eat pears from the special elven pear tree that grows in a biome that doesn't exist on your world or something stupid. Um, you eat meals, kibble. Okay, so I can make you kibble. How much kibble you eat, I guess, is more of a, a nightmare of a, <laughs> of a consideration. But, yeah, that's for future me to figure out. We'll do until we have, let's say, 200 kibble. Speaking of eat, here, bud. Joe True, you are starving to death. Uh, what are you allowed to eat? Perishable. We don't have any perishables. We don't. We actually don't. Uh, okay. Well, everyone's allowed to eat dry meat and berries right now. Somehow or another, the rice harvest... I honestly... I'm not even sure what happened there. We... So there's Lembus here that maybe I'll pull up because it's getting really cold. Um... But I am gonna uh, pull up a lot of this double strand because I don't, I don't, I don't expect that we'll need too much more double strand, considering the amount of double strand that we have available to us right now. And plant double strand in the protected heated farm, so that we can make um, fine meals out of. Uh, so fine meals should be made from not lembas flour or corn, but rice and meat. And we'll have plenty of materials for that in a minute. What is this? Oh, Cerium. Cerium has a new look. I didn't even recognize it. So you have a nutrition of six, which is on par of like a regular elephant, which I think is like five or something. So it's not, it's not easy to meet necessarily, but it's not going to kill us to feed you. So that's good. All right. There was one other thing I could do, which is exchange the demonology book for Magicite. So let's do that before they leave. So de demonology out, Magicite in. And we're under siege. Oh, you guys are going to die so bad. Some of you are actually pretty strong, though, I think. We've got a shaman, a druid, and a lightning mage? No, uh, another shaman. Two shamans. All right. Let's flex on them. Was there a faction leader in there? Oh, yeah. Tajin, or whatever their name is, is the faction leader. Uh, let's try to find them. They're somewhere in this... Oh, there they are. Ha! <laughs> They're wearing Soul Reaper stuff. <laughs> I think he's the faction leader. 
Elf Lord? Yeah, that sounds about right. Unless there's two Tijians. Hard to tell with these silly elf names that are all, you know, totally unique in an ununique way. Trade, trade care fans leaving? Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, hey, Thomas, you want to use uh, Meteor for the first time? So I'm going to hit them with a Meteor, Poppy. I'm going to use all my Archmages and just hit them with a bunch of Archmage BS. Making them regret the day they showed up. Also, uh, well, before we do that, let's pull them into a attraction, a double attraction. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really try to turn the screws. do poppy f oh what are these coming after me no they're just fleeing shots poppy for distractions they're all in one oh you know what i uh i won pulling him into a hole and summoning explosive minions from hell is a very effective combination <laughs> Oh, yeah. And there's so many that are downed. Um, hey, shield. Let's get you closer. I don't want to kill the ones that are actually on the ground. So, uh, Turnip, what ha happened to you? Just a, Oh, you're just a little weak. You're fine. Oh, this is going to be great. Boom! And spin! Boom! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright, uh, Madzy, you're next. Wait, Madzy, where is your... Oh, that's Rogi. I'm really bad at reading and everything. Uh, summon. Burgon, you get out there. Scaldir, you get out there. Stickiest, you can go away. Madzy, donk them. Oh, they want to get sliced up. That's fine. Rogi, let's have you capture. There are so many people to capture here. It's ridiculous. Get over here. Oops. Went a little hard. You know, no regrets. Scaldir, you can carry Madrin. Stickiest. You want to start capturing people too? I don't know what their bleed out timers are. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't really care. So these are uh, potential prison beds as well. We're going to have an overcrowded prison. Is the Elf Lord still alive? No. They are not. The new one is Antheron. Where is... I would like to try to find their old leader and, uh, you know, take a skull. No! Okay, I think this is him. I think he. we cut off his head. No, we didn't cut off his head. Okay, good. Well, we'll take a skull. For a second, I thought that they were uh, they were decapitated in the uh, in the fight. I was gonna be sad about that. Oh, 
What are you? You are a shaman, so you're definitely going to get put to death. Uh, don't keep that door open. That's going to be annoying. Tal's just like, donk, get back in there. Behave or get smacked. All right, we definitely profited off of that. Uh, call me crazy, but I don't really want their stuff. We already have too much stuff. So. Gonna let them keep their, um, all those corpses I'll just leave alone. That was terrific. That combination of attraction and poppy, those poppies went boom and just took out everything. Grab the food. Uh, you know, it's it's not it's not dried meat of dead elf or human, so it's less palatable than our our wonderful food. Even though we need meals, I think actually we're getting meals fine right now. Oh, uh, oh, that's uh, on the other map tile. Another thief. Is it Legolas again? No, it's uh, Fagin. Is it Carl Fagin? No, it's just Fagin. Wow, he's old. Holy hell. What are you, poop dirt, dude? You're just that old? Glitch, welcome. Take reprieve from the, f the woes of family. Sip upon the wonderful coffee of our beautiful isle. And Lunny and uh, GK, thank you for the uh, the resubs, kicking up a hype train. There's a lot of prison management to be done. Um, God, that was so effective. I'm just, I'm just amazed at how effective it was to knock out just a, an incredible amount of people just like that with the uh, the poppy attractions. That was mwah, just everyone here get 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 roasted. The ones that uh, I'm going to go and just like, because I don't want to manage, I don't want to bother like talking to or feeding the ones that are unwaveringly loyal because there will never be, um, they will never be uh, useful to me. They can't be by definition. I might as well just, just kill them quick. And then everyone else I'll, uh, I'll address and assess one at a time. But I don't think I'm really, I think we're kind of close for business at this point. I don't, I don't think it's honestly all that reasonable to even add additional people in anymore. Although, look at you. Although you have no combat stats. I was going to say tough and hypersensitive. I might make an exception, a, exception for Traston. Hypersensitive means that they could potentially be a very powerful mage. Um, kindness is kind of a weird trait, but I'll have you vote. What to do with Traston? Uh, enslave, harvest heart, or teach magic? And Quantum, thank you for the gifted subs. Cheers. So, if we're potentially adding you, I might as well patch you up. See, I think what happened is the poppies are really effective because when they die and explode, they um, they burn everyone, causing a lot of wounds, but not a lot of damage, uh, which allows us to avoid killing and and downing instead, which is highly, highly effective. 
So you are unwaveringly loyal. So I will take your loyal heart and turn it into something more useful. You're a beautiful xenophobic asexual. Um, no, I don't really. No, thanks. Take your heart too. You are ascetic bloodlust brawler. Yeah, you're infected, but like, I don't know. That's, that's pretty good traits. Especially given that you have a passion for melee. There's a, a potential there for you to become useful. Uh, you are just sickly, super high medical skill, but like, I don't really need a, a sickly elf. All right, you are slothful jogger. Um, you run around to do very little. Well, guess what? You're gonna be productive in the afterlife. Bye-bye. And then you are also pretty not great. I mean, tough is nice, but tough with absolutely no combat skills to mention to, to speak of is not useful at all. Okay. Then the remainder of these is going to be for colonists so that I can capture you and put you in a proper place. So here we go. We have Trastin and Nerdis that are to be considered. Um, I'll put a timer, a two and a half minute timer on Trastin. Osgardian was also being taught magic. Um, but we might do a re-pull on Osgardian just because we potentially have better options now. So I'll have you uh, hold on that. And we're also going to have the option to uh, to do a, um, a lot of surgeries, I think. Once we fill these up. So speaking of which, we should get Stickiest Gear enchanted so he can become like a mana pool. Do I have poppies? No, I don't. All right, or uh, not poppies, minions. That was nice. That was real nice. All right. This is looks to be a foregone conclusion. I'll, I'll actually end that early. So, Trastin will be taught magic. The prisoner. Convert. And we'll have to go the way, the way of convert, enslave, taught, imprisoned, recruit. Uh, what about Nervous? And then I'll repull for us, Guardian. Looks like you guys want as many people as possible. I'm okay with that. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 31st. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you 
that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs. <laughs>